Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, it's another Fears to Fathom episode, and this one is called Ironbark Lookout. If you want to be a lookout at Ironbark, the links and the details are, of course, down below in the description, alright? Like the previous episodes, this is going to be a first-person psychological horror game, where in this one, I'm going to be playing as a 24-year-old fire lookout, stationed at an outpost in the middle of a state park. I'm going to be looking out for fires, but what else am I going to see? We're about to find out, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, alright? Here we go. Fears to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout, the fourth in the series. Let's start a new game. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself, with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, at van camp, no. <laughs> this one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and I like travelling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Alright. And we begin. Okay, here we are then. We're driving. We're honking. Alright. I couldn't read that, to be honest, but hopefully we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> oh, I, while I'm driving? No, 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 no. Come on, pull over to the side. Come on, there we go. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So we can actually pull over and have a little look around the RV. Cool. Uh, so, messages? Okay, so I've got messages between me and Mitch Scott and uh, Kayla Nelson. Right, so, let's see. I think... This is to do with work. Yeah, Mitch, I think it's to do with work. Yeah, you'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Fair enough. Okay, so Kayla, I'm still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today, out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? And she hasn't got back to me. Okay. Right, let's see. What does that say? Presidential cliffhanger? Hmm. Oh, look at this. Hey. I like the detail already. Okay. Do we do anything else here? Oh. Oh, okay. I've got a bag. Which I can throw. <laughs> I guess I can't open it. And it looks like I can actually leave. I guess I can go on foot, but that's probably not wise, right? Okay. Let's get back on the road. Okay. Nice. Yeah, already I'm impressed with the detail. I lived a very solitary life, Jack says. Is that right? It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. What memories do you need to keep at bay? That's what I'm asking. Okay. Oh. Hello! <laughs> oh, he didn't honk back! Got the birds over there. I've always loved the great outdoors. Please don't tell me there are vultures circling a group of bodies. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness, Jack says. Alright. Hey, check out my driving. I think I'm doing pretty well. He says that he felt at home in the woods, and Kayla is texting again. Right, let's see. Can I get away with a quick look? Uh, there's a diner at Roseburg. Oh boy! Right, best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> I really should have pulled over to look, but uh, there we go. We're still alive. 
We're still alive. Was it Roseburg that I saw on that sign? It may have been. Is this Roseburg? Oh, okay. We're loading something in. Maybe the diner? That's not it, is it? Uh, got a gas station. A few houses over to the left. Oh, I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Okay. Right, well, I suppose I should probably pull in here then. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Okay, the brakes on this thing, they're like non-existent. I should have taken it easy, you're right, you're right. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay. Oh boy, I'm gonna piss someone off, but uh, yeah, this is, this is where I'm parking for the day. Alright. Did I actually bump into it? I think I may have. Hey there. How you doing? You enjoying your burger? Yeah, how's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Um, yeah, I'm a new staffer at the Ironbark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. Creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. And do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Oh, is that right? Some of them come back with stories you wouldn't believe. Hmm. Well, at least some of them come back. Oh. Enjoy a burger. Right. Uh, you know, maybe maybe talking with the locals isn't the best idea, but uh, let's have a little look, shall we? Tasty food here. Let's see if Kayla's right. All right. Let's see. Hey there. Oh, uh, welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Any seat I like, eh? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> you did say any seat you like. Uh, it's best if we don't go into too much detail about the story. Right. Oh, I'm actually... I'm controlling the direction of this. Yeah, okay. Man, you really needed to go, didn't you? You're not gonna flush? Okay, you are gonna flush. Good, good, good. Right. Probably should have closed the door as well. Okay, I guess that seat's not really the one she's talking about. Over here, maybe? Alright. Let's see then. What's on the menu? It looks like right click can zoom us in a little bit, but I can see that you've got hot food and drinks. I, I don't know any more than that. Oh, hello. Uh, good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Sure. So, what can I get for you? Um, well. The burgers are meant to be good, right? So, a cheeseburger with fries? Ah, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Burger and Coke sounds good. Um, that'll be all, thanks. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go with Kayla's recommendation, I suppose. Oh, now it seems I can't. I can't get up. Uh, I can play with this, though. I can throw it. <laughs> I'm just making a mess, really, as I wait for my food. Throwing salt... Oh, okay. Throwing salt into the void. Right, yeah. The floor is... The floor isn't lava, but the floor is a void. I mean, it's a good thing I don't want to get up. Right. Okay. Was that mine? She's coming over to see me. That was quick. Some good service around here. Uh-huh, okay, service with a sort of smile, I guess. Look at this. Consuming! Right. It's called Huge Swig, and that's exactly what I'm taking. Do you not want to, like, sip it and then come back to it? No? We're just going to down the whole thing. I figured it'll be a while before I had a meal like this again. Okay, fries next. 
Yeah, I guess I just like to eat one thing at a time in this game. I, I can't stop consuming once I've started. Oh, Kayla's text me. So, did you end up going? How was it? Well, I'm here. I'm still eating. This is so good. I haven't even tried the burger yet. It does look pretty good. I'll give it that. Oh, what did Kayla say? Told you. <laughs> Wow, I'm a fast texter. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Uh, oh. Did you enjoy the food? Uh, yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Uh, check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, what else did she say? Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. I'll send you it in a bit. Sounds good. Right. And here she comes, presumably, with the check. Hopefully it's pretty cheap. It is actually, yeah, okay, six dollars. Um, screw it, I'm feeling generous. Thanks for the generous tip, yeah. Okay, I guess we're done here. Hmm. Maybe I tipped her because I felt bad about running into that car. <laughs> right. Can we do anything else around here? Oh, yeah. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? Well, I'm a staffer at Ironbark State Park. So, is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? Uh, possibly. We can't say. I can't say. I don't know much about it. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Yes, it is. Hmm. What about this guy? Did I run into your car? You look a little lost. Yeah. What should I say? Just tired? No, I can't say that. I'll be culpable then. I'm just passing through. So, where are you headed? Uh, well, I'm telling everyone this at this point. I'm starting my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. It can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Okay. And what about you, sir? Please leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I think I ran into him, yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Well, that was nice. Are there birds around here somewhere? I can see the shadows, just not the birds themselves. Strange. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's get back in the RV and uh, let's go get acclimated at my new job, right? There we are. Alright. Okay, I almost went forward into him again. <laughs> Here we are then. Here we are. Hello, fellow driver. Again, no honk back. What's going on? All right. So, are we at the edge of the forest right now? Am I sort of looking into the forest here? Hmm. Okay. 8.02 p.m. It's probably getting... Quite dark, right, yeah, okay. I gotta say, I like this so far. I like the level of detail. It seems like with each episode, it gets more and more detailed. There's more and more things to do. And I think it looks a little better, too. I want to include the location of this park. Okay. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. What utter horrors are you talking about? Here, is it? A little bit further? Uh, that might have been it. I, I, I knew it was. Okay, I drove past the trail at first. Right. Let's see. Seems like people are parked over there, so... Right, I'm actually going to park properly this time. I'm not going to run into these vehicles, am I? Oh, may, maybe I will. <laughs> the turning on this thing is pretty damn harsh. There we go. Alright, that's a little bit better than last time, at least. Okay. 
Right. Do I need this? No? Okay. Here we are then. Do I have a flashlight or something? That'd be nice. Right, okay. Hmm. Maybe this is the RV of someone else who's, you know, on Firewatch right now. I think I'm going to be doing this by myself, but there might be a few towers, I don't know. Right. This is the place. Gate D. The Gold Creek Trail. Oh, could I have come down here with the vehicle? Maybe I can get the barriers up. Right, hold on. What the fuck, man? Holy moly, you scared me! I thought you were one of them! Wait, one of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Uh, there's, there's a guy out back, just wandering in the woods. Is that normal? Uh, okay. Hang on, let me check on that, he says. I, I definitely saw someone. Hmm. Okay. How's that checking going? Good? Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Right, there are quite a few towers. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Okay. So we've got the tower key now. Good. Let me open the trail gate for you. Brilliant. Alright. Okay. Oh, would these be the three missing kids? I guess so. Oh, just the one half? Okay. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Yeah, I thought I might need one, but yeah, thanks, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Alright. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Oh, thanks, Billy. Am I going to mention the guy that I saw in the woods, or... Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Okay, you got it. Right. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Okay, there we are. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going on foot. This way? Oh, again, I left my bag in the RV at first. I tried to pick it up, but there wasn't, like, any prompt to say that I needed to. Right, I, I guess I just need to carry it with me. <laughs> well, I've got the right idea, you know. Um, can we, like, shut this off? Maybe I should at least shut the door. Yeah. Right, there's the bag. Couldn't drive with the door. I don't want to drive. I want to, I want to turn this off. Okay, well, maybe I don't. Let's just keep the engine running. Why not? <laughs> okay, I got my bag, got the flashlight, got the tower key. Hopefully that's all we need. I just don't want to go too far north of my tower. Bobcats and bears. Hmm. Am I going to find these kids, do you think? Yeah, I guess we'll see. Right. Foot trail. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. Okay, will do. Alright. Ooh, that was quite a long hike. Nearly midnight. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Tower 11's this way over the bridge. Right. That's the frequency. Okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> I don't think that's the tower, is it? No. no I think I'd get kind of chilly sleeping up there. Let's see. Can we go in? 
No, I don't think I know the code. Nah. Why would we want to, right? Why would we want to? Up here, though? Alright. On my journey, did I see anyone else wandering in the woods? Tower 11? Oh, that's Tower 11, is it? The Lacey Trail's to the right. Gold Creek Trail. Well, this one, I suppose. Okay. This is going to be my new home. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job, I say. No? Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Okay, there's a utility shack there. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Oh, okay. Well, I've had a fondness for these. The door... The door was wide open, okay. Wait. Oh. Interesting. We can see outside through the door as well. That's weird. Do I need to go again? Okay. I need to go again. <laughs> Using the flashlight to make sure my aim's correct. Are we good? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Right. Oh, so we got lumber. There's a generator here. Oh! Okay. That's probably good. Uh, let's have a look at this utility shack as well, right? Looks like there's another trail over there. Alright. Just bits and bobs, really. Okay. And there's no door to this. It's always left open. It's always left open by the looks of it. Okay. Right. Well, we got the generator on. Um, so, yeah. Let's head up. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. There you go. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. So far, so good. I do see another tower. I guess that's the closest one to me. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more. Okay. I think I saw the door around here. Here we are. Yeah! Okay, we're in. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Right. What do I do with my bag? Put it on the bed? I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Can we turn this on? Okay. Oh, hang on. Is there a light switch? Hey! Now we're talking! Okay. Ironbark Fire Department, right. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying the tower. Lights out after 12. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. There's a system password. Ironbark tower number. 11, I guess. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. And here's a map, which... Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, honestly, but okay. Right. So, do I use this, or...? Hmm. The radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Is it not working? Hmm. The computer? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Rainbow OS? Oh, okay. Thankfully it's doing it all automatically. Rainbow 98, okay. The password. The password. Yeah, okay. I, what was it? Ironbark... Um, Ironbark 11, I think? Did that work? Hey, we're in! Okay. I'm a natural. <laughs> now I know why they called me for the job. Okay. Alright, so we got employee training. Fla Hello there, it's Smiley. Your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. How can I make your day better? By shutting the fuck up, probably. Um, okay, we've got a console here. Alright. Oh boy, okay, so do I need to do any of this? Uh, maybe, I don't know. What have we got, Plague.exe? Oh. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Oh wow, okay. Oh dear. Oh boy. Okay, right. <laughs> hey, I thought it said no video games. Oh boy. 
Okay, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just, uh, let's quit out of this. Service reporting? Okay. Let's see then. I, oh! I, <laughs> why did that scare me? Right. New guy. Ah. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Oh. Who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Right. How's your light turn on? Uh. I thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. But had to cover your area until you arrived. Ah, I see. Well, thank you, I suppose. So what is it? What? Your name? Ah, right. Jack. Jack Nelson. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Um, I'm really tired. No, <laughs> I'm just looking for a change. Uh, I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. Hmm. I can see why Mitch picked you. But yeah, I am really tired. You got a fire going? Uh, no. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Oh, right. Got it. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Um, so I need to do this, don't I? So I need to figure out the temperature? Oh boy, okay. Yeah, probably not. Um... The temperature, the wind speed, the weather condition, number of hikers assisted, reported by me. <laughs> uh, yeah, can't be empty. Okay, we need to we need to figure this out. Fair enough. And then we've got the, the trail map here? Ah, that's a little bit better. Right, so where are we? Tower 11? Tower 12 would be to the east over here. I see. Okay, he's just off map. Cool. Right, but I need to go I need to go back to this, don't I? Um sure. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have a working radio by the looks of it. Okay, was this a compass? Okay, so that that direction's north. Okay, seems like it. Yeah, that would make sense, because he's to the east. Sure. Alright. Um, what else have we got? My hands were full. Okay, so drop this. Oh, this is for the wind speed, surely. Right, there you go. And we can flick the light on and off by the looks of it. So it's, it's 19 knots. Just want to make sure that, you know, the, uh, the lookout tower is not getting in the way. I'm not getting a bad reading. No, it is 19 by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, I guess I can put that in my report. Nineteen knots. There we go. Um, still need the temperature, and I need to say whether it's cloudy or not. It's kind of cloudy. Hmm. Let's see. What else have we got around here? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm actually still trying to do my report. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Right. Right, okay. Well, the firewood, I think I, I think I saw the firewood down in the utility shack, didn't I? Oh? Is that Connor again? Someone else? Uh, yeah, there's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Oh. She was one gritty woman. Is that right? Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Right. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. Cool. Right. Um, so... The firewood, there's the gasoline. Matches, I think. What have we got here? Some sort of spray? Oh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's put that back, just in case. We've got a clock. Ah. Ah, okay, the temperature is 44.9. Right, there we go. Uh, what was it, 19? Something like that. Uh, zero. It's a little cloudy. Oh, I didn't put in the right weather condition? Um, clear? Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, brilliant. Right. Well, uh, hopefully that guy, what was his name, Mitch? Yeah, he, uh, he's getting that, and he knows that I made it safely. Cool. Yeah. Okay, lovely. 
Right, okay, so let's go and get the firewoods, and let's see if we can get a fire started, right? A safe fire. <laughs> a fire that I'm actually meant to start. Yeah, I like this one so far. Of course, it's reminding me of Firewatch, which I played a, a long time ago. I remember that game rather fondly. Okay. Right. So we've got more gasoline down here, there's some more matches, another flashlight. More spray. Right, okay, so yeah, if I if I lose any equipment, I think there's a spare down here, so that's good. Alright. Anyone using the loo? Good. <laughs> Anyone else wandering in the woods? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. It's quite a workout, really. Going up all those stairs, holding this much wood. Right. There you go. I needed to light it up. Uh, okay. I, you just throw the match in? Okay, well, um, I needed gasoline, of course. Okay. Right. Okay, um, yeah. I had better aim in the toilet, honestly. Okay, like that? Let's just drop that and try this again. Okay. Wow, okay. I am going to be the fire starter here. Uh, I am going to be the emergency. I see the smoke. Okay, good. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Brilliant. Did you report for the night yet? I did. Or at least, I think I did. Okay. Let's close that up. Put that back. There we are. Okay, yeah. Um, If I die during the night, at least I'll know why. Right. Let's see. Yeah, it's done. Very well. Anyways, I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, your guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> uh, good night, over and out. Okay. So, are we done? Hmm. The Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass the size of a pizza. <laughs> Right. Shall we? Oh, we can sleep, apparently. Brilliant. Okay. Three twenty-six a.m. Hmm. Oh. Is that Connor? Yeah, it might be someone else with the same frequency. Right. Right. Let's get up. Okay, it's beeping. So something's going on. Connor? I had to pee. Okay. We're going to go pee, are we? Right, let's get the light on, I think. Hmm. Where did I put my flashlight? Is that it? There we go. Okay. Strange. Ah. Oh. Now, being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Do I need to go to pee or not? Maybe not. Maybe I've decided against it. Uh, okay. Oh, I can lift these up. I suppose, yeah, I probably want to, don't I? Because, yeah, I, I want to look out the windows. I want to see if there's any fires. I can't really be a very good fire watch if I can't see the damn fires. There we are. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, I can see everything, and everything can see me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think I prefer it like that. Okay, so going down to P didn't seem to be working. Do I just... Okay, the door's locked. Uh-huh. Presumably it's locked. Okay, right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pee in the morning when I get up. Here we are then. Night two. Oh, that's quite pleasant. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away as you sip on your cup of cocoa, or coffee, or tea, or whatever the hell that is. Yeah, actually looks quite nice during the day, or in the daylight at least. Oh, take a photo? We can take photos, yeah, why not? Scroll to zoom, okay. 
Unfortunately, I can't scroll in and zoom in enough to see Connor, but I can take a photo of his tower. Yeah, I imagine this job might be quite nice and rewarding if you do just want to get away from it all for a while. Alright. Another photo? Okay. What's it going to be this time? Uh, this electrical tower? Maybe the sunset with the birds? Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay. Get off. What are we on? <laughs> what are we getting off? Uh, an invisible chair, I guess. Uh, okay. Right. Looks like there's no more sips left. Let's see. Uh, oh. Do you copy? I, I do. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yeah. Unfortunately, though, I don't have, like, a portable radio, so I suppose I'm going to have to go over here to actually talk to him. Tower 11. Do you copy? Yeah. Um, copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, hang on. Let me have a look. Okay, he's to the east. North is going to be behind me. So, wait. Right. Let's, uh, let's put that down for washing up. Oh, I do. I do. The smoke was white. Indicative of a campfire. Right. Still, not good, right? Hmm. I need you to confirm. Right. Do you see that smoke up north? I do. So, let's go over here and let's confirm. Did you spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector. Right. It's not a registered campsite. Oh, I see. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Right. Fire risks are high this season. Okay. Am I checking it out? Okay. Heading north. What that guy told me not to do. But, um, yeah. Uh, do you have any other details? No additional information at the moment. Right. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay. Heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Will do. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Ah, yeah, okay. Bears and bobcats that way, right? So, probably a good bet. Over and out. Over and out. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, so, there's the bear spray. It's getting kind of dark, so, right, here we are. Yeah. I think I'm holding the, uh, the two most important items, really, at this point. Okay, let's close this up, and, well, let's do our job, right? So, Lacey Trail. I think I actually saw the sign for that. So... That's the utility one. I think it's down here and then to the left, isn't it? Maybe I should have had a look at the map, actually, before I left. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it mentioned it right here. That's it. 3.2 miles is quite a long way. Over here, though, yeah? Oh, look at this. Caution. Bears in area. Hmm. Okay, 8.37 p.m. Alright. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. And it took me a while, apparently. Ooh. A scream? Oh boy. We've got the plucking strings. Something's going on. Violators will be sighted and moved and... They're not the three kids, are they? Oh dear. Right. Here's the camp. Who screamed? Hmm. Uh, oh, gee, what the... What the hell? What? Uh, uh, sorry, Kay. I, oh, okay, right, stop, stop. What's going on? Uh, you're right, I guess we're not really getting that good service, are we? So, sorry, just got home. We've got that, yep. Send pics. Jack, are you okay? I hope everything's okay. Reply back when you see it. Yeah, my sector doesn't have very good service, so... I, I sent the photos over. And thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. Okay, cool. Anyway, back to the job. Who needs to get sprayed? <laughs> it wasn't a bear that screamed, was it? I hear whistling. Yeah, I'm hearing whistling. Oh! Hang on. Who's there? Wait, step out here. There was someone behind the tree. 
Come on, show yourself. Hmm. The area beyond that site was closed. Alright. Is there any getting round? Doesn't seem like it, does it? No. Okay. Weird. Very weird. So what do I do with you? I had to put it out. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think the bear spray is going to do it, is it? Is that a harmonica? Oh no. That <laughs> I thought that was a harmonica on a cushion. It's not. We've got a pot here, though. And there is a little pond here, so hold on. Can I fill this with water? There we go. Alright. Whoever you are, I'm putting out your fire! Okay, did that do it? Right. To be honest, I think I want my bear spray back, just in case. And it might not be for the bears. Nice. Quite a lot of equipment here. Can I not use that? It's just static? No? Okay. Right. Well, I think the main thing is that I've put the fire out, right? Anything over here? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't think I can really examine the area all that well. Okay, well... Job done, right? I, I guess I've got to start the hike back. Hmm. Am I the only one a little bit nervous about this? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, minutes and minutes of spraying later, as I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Yeah, I never actually figured out who screamed. I guess it was the guy in the woods, right? But... Yeah, there's something off about that. Okay. Alright. Well, there's the tower. Well, I wasn't assaulted by bears, so that's good. Okay. No one's up there. No one's there waiting for me. Anyone in the loo? No? Okay. Right. Generator's still running? I don't know if that was so wise, to be honest. Maybe I could have saved on fuel. Alright. So, we're back. Um, I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Yeah, probably a good idea. Put that down and put that down as well. Right. Let's see. Oh, we're jumping straight on the PC. Hold on. No, Smiley, go away! <laughs> right, Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. Right. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Let's talk about it. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This month alone. Oh, really? Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, well, there was the scream. The scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Didn't really sound like a lady, though, did it? It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Right. Yeah, the kids went missing in this area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... Right. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Right. Bigfoot? Goatman? Yeah? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Hmm. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Oh, really? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's unsettling. New guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Whoever I saw behind that tree, I don't think it was Bigfoot or a goat man or anything like that, but... 
Hmm. Absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. No worries. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Right. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Okay, well, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, right. Uh, do I need to do another report? I probably do, don't I? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> shall I just guess? Let's say it's 500 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 80 knots. Um, it's really windy. I assisted 64 people, which is crazy. And it's reported by Bill Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> Something didn't look right. I'm not surprised. Okay, let's do this properly, okay? So, we... Oh, we're still getting messages. Five new messages. Right, yeah, I'm getting no service up here, so they're all coming through at once. And I'm, right, I'm trying to send them back and it's not working. So, pizza pasta bake. Oh yeah, okay. So jelly in that view, look what I got home to. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Oh, really? I'm going to try the recipe? Oh, okay. <laughs> One thing at a time. Should we sort out the report first? 48.6. 48.6 and... 17? 17. Okay, so 48.6... 17. Um, it's not actually that windy at all. I guess it's going to be clear or cloudy. Let's try clear. Did I assist the hiker today? I don't know. I don't think so. Not really. Let's go with that. Oh, really? Okay, you're going to put it as cloudy? Okay. <laughs> but it's still Bill Clinton. Yep. <laughs> Fine. Fine. There you go. All right. We good? I think we're good. Right. So, we we don't just go to sleep? Nah, I was too hungry to go to bed without food. <sighs> okay, so... Oh look, there's the casserole dish. At this point, I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. Hold on, hold on. So I need pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and diced tomatoes. Bake at 420 degrees. Re 35, 40 minutes. Enjoy. Okay. Have I got all that? <laughs> okay, there's various things up here. Which I don't think I can use. Dish soap? You need dish soap? Macaroni, though. Okay, there we go. Right, we've got cupboards that we can't use. Okay, the oven we can use. The microwave we can use. Ah, hang on. Here we go. Right, what we got here then? Ah, marinara sauce. Okay. Uh, do we need to do it in order? If we do, we are doing it in order. It's pepperoni, then mozzarella cheese, then diced tomatoes. Right. Brr. <laughs> no. Crispy potato pops? No. Some sort of mince? No. Pepperoni. Okay, we can add the pepperoni to it. Anything else? Mozzarella? Yes. Good, good. Sardines? No. Sliced ham? No. Some sort of meat? What we got down here? Garden peas? Diced tomatoes. Right, I've made a bit of a mess on the floor, but we're getting there. Is that it? Ah! I guess that's going to go in the oven then, isn't it? There you go. Okay. Right. Um, let's see if we can put this back. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. You there? Yeah. New guy. You copy? Hold on, hold on. Let me just put the peas down. What's up now? There's not another fire, is there? Yeah. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Ah, good job. But what did they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Oh, all right. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. Hmm. Yeah, let's hope so. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the 
sack now. Yeah. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Oh, thanks, Connor. Okay, awkward silence. Over 12, signing off. <laughs> over and out. Alright, over and out. Cool. Right. I I was just gonna say I've got a long time to wait, but maybe not. I just remember the smell of the fresh, sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. Okay. You're not gonna put it in a bowl or a plate or something? You, right. I, <laughs> are you just face planting this thing? You don't want any cutlery? <laughs> I guess not. And that's right, that is that is way more than one meal. That's crazy. You can eat the whole thing. <sighs> right. I'm looking around. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm gonna hear another scream, honestly. Oh, I, I was already full. I see. Okay, so we're not gonna eat the whole thing. Good. And we're not gonna sleep with it either. Good. Um, I guess we can just put it over there. Or we could put it in the fridge, even though that's a bit of a struggle. <laughs> hey, there we go. Well, I had to take everything out to make room for it, right? That's my excuse. Yeah, it... Once it's out, you can't really put it back in. Okay. So, are we good? Ah, right. More firewood needed, I suppose? Okay. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Yeah? Did I just... I think I'm hearing whistling again. I can't go any further behind the shack. But I am hearing whistling. Can you hear that? Weird. Right. Ooh. Ooh, I think someone's moving. Is someone back there? Right, okay, I've got the firewood. That's, uh, that's all I needed. <laughs> right. Let's head up. Huh. Kind of creepy, really. Subtle, but creepy. Okay, so, in that goes. Don't really need this anymore, do I? So, yep, yeah, put that there. Um, right, let's, let's not stain the floor this time. There you go, that's a little bit better. Just like that. Okay. Lovely balance, too. Alright. Are we good? I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Apart from that first time. But, uh, yeah, okay. Right. I'm just getting paranoid now, honestly. So, right, we just need to close the boards. And start at this end, shall we? There we go. Nothing here. That seems kind of illogical to me, honestly. I mean, it, it would probably keep the temperature pretty high, I guess. But, you know, if there is a fire, you won't be able to see it. Oh, well. I guess this is just how it's done. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, now it's working. Two twenty-seven a.m. What is it this time? I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the? Right, get up, get up. What the? What, uh, what the hell is that? There was something very strange about that night. Right, let's get the light on. Ooh. All right. Can we- Whoa! What the- Uh... I don't know if that's Bigfoot or a goat man or something, but- Oh, shit. Right, do I open it? Hold on, hold on. I've got this. Oh, 
Jeez! Oh, okay, okay. It's not a goat man, it's a guy in a mask. And the bear spray did nothing. And that was that. There you go. That was Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. No, no, of course it wasn't. I now know what not to do. Let's try that again. Right. He's placed something in front of the door, I think. And now he's he's sneaking away. I'm going to let him sneak away. Can we go back to... Oh, oh we, we can hide. I think I'm okay. I think he's gone down the stairs. We're about to find out, I suppose. Here we go. Right. The bear spray did nothing before, did it? Yeah, I think I heard him go downstairs. Let's see. Candles and a skull? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Good idea, good idea. Close the door. <laughs> Connor? Connor? Connor, do you copy? Come on, I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? I do, I do. Uh, there's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning? Nope. Let's mention the skull. Uh, I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. Eh, uh, I don't think so. This feels like some sort of real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. I know, making it all the more terrifying. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Okay. For now, just lock your door. Right, okay. It'll be morning before you know it. Alright. Try to get some sleep, Jack. But we're done. Uh, thanks, I guess. Shit. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Right. <laughs> Can I sleep under the bed? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I've got to sleep on top of the bed, haven't I? Alright, that is locked, hopefully. God, that was fucking weird. Night three, okay. What's gonna happen this night? Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. It was probably when that guy rushed in and stabbed you to death. There's something strange happening in those woods. Okay, 8.34pm. It's probably dark, isn't it? Or getting dark. Right. What are we doing then? I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower. Oh. Oh, I see, we're cleaning the lens. All by scanning the densities of the trees all around me. There we go. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. As it should. Ah, ah. There's a flare? Oh boy. Someone out there? Oh, I don't trust this. Right, um, we're going back, I guess. Oh. Okay. So, west? It's coming from the west? Right. Let's see. Um, Hello? Uh, oh! Is anyone there? Oh, that's not Connor. I, I need help! Is that the guy that shot the flare? Please, someone answer. Maybe, maybe. Hold on, hold on. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, it's Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm... I'm really starting to freak out. Okay, uh, take a deep breath. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so what's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Right. I think, I think I'm lost. Uh, can you describe your clothing or location or well, well, any of these, I guess. I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Okay, and what equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and and some of my camping equipment. Okay, and what's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Right. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Right, okay. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. You passed a stream, okay. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. You see it? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can uh, you help me? Um, let me scan the map and get back to you, I suppose. Let's use this digital one. I think it's easier to see. Okay, Smiley, go fuck yourself. Tower 11, right. So it's to the west, so he's over here somewhere. The trailhead, the Logan Pass trailhead, he wants to get back to that one? He's facing west, I think. Is he there? He passed the uh, Hello? Oh, gee. All right, hold on. Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Yeah, they all do. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Okay, all right. Well, let's get back to it. I think he might be... He could be here or here, potentially. But he passed the stream. So he's probably here, right? And if he's facing west, is that what he said? He wants he wants to take the left one. Yeah, yeah. I think that makes sense. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Okay. Can you help me? Take the left trail, because you should always go left. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. Hmm. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, that's that's all right. Yeah, making decisions in the dark can be challenging. Is that it? Huh? I'm right here. Ooh. What the hell was that? Did I just hear a whistle? I hear you. You don't hear me. I hear your whistles. Oh shit! That's not me. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. Oh no no no! That's not me. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, that's not good. Maybe I should have told him to go right. Right, I'm getting the spray. Uh, right. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, oh, holy moly! What took you so long in there? <laughs> I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to, pal? I, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the god be merciful. Anyways, I've got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Right. Thanks. Is that it? What were you doing there last night? He asks. What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. Well, I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. It's not just bobcats and bears, though, is it? You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. There's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. I know, believe me. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Is everything alright? 
Should I tell him about the skull or not? Mm, I'm going to tell him about the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Uh, no, I don't think I did. I, I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. What if I did take a photo of it? It wasn't him wearing that hood, was it? Yeah. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Okay. Right. And he's off, is he? He's off. Okay, good, good. Huh. Okay. I'll just put that down there. Right. Are we really zoomed in? We are, aren't we? Hold on. Did that just reset everything? I think it did, didn't it? Hey, there we go. <laughs> uh, right. So, I suppose we've got to do our report again, haven't we? Hmm. Oh, go away. Thanks for that random fact. Can I get back to that hiker at all? Shit. That can't be good. That really can't be good. Okay, right, so... Let's go through the motions, I suppose. There he is, wandering off. Hmm. So, let's see. Okay. Rather windy tonight. 26 knots. Uh, there you go. 26. 58.7. Okay. No. No. <laughs> I suppose not. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Wind? Is it windy enough for wind? I don't know. Number of hikers assisted. I guess one. Reported by... Uh, I don't know. Me again. Okay, that's valid. Yeah, okay, a lot of people are actually reporting wind. Okay. Okay, good. Good. So... Do we open this, or...? Guess not. Um, I suppose we need to light the fire, don't we? Oh, and I need to eat. I need to eat. Okay. What about the half of that casserole? Yeah. The, uh, the pizza pasta bake. Right. Okay, so again, sit on the bed, eat it. The <laughs> okay, the food was cold. Uh, the microwave works. There you go. Right. I'm probably going to need some firewood, aren't I? And do I need to shut all these shutters up? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I gotta say, I do quite like this. I don't know if it's my favourite of the episode so far, but it is a pretty good one. Yeah. I am enjoying this. It is making me paranoid. I think all of them have actually made me paranoid. Okay. Right. I think the microwave beeped, so we should be good. Yep, I liked eating in bed. I know, I know. Have you got, like, oven mitts on or something? That must be boiling. <laughs> right, well, here we go. Again, face planting this thing. We must really enjoy it. And to be honest, it does look good. Yeah, I'd probably enjoy this. Okay, one more bite. One more bite, and I think we're done. Lovely. I was done with it. Good. Good. Okay, so I guess let's put that there for washing up. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't really want to have to go down for firewood. Let's see. Fuck sake. Okay. Right, where's my flashlight? Hmm. Here we go then. I should have probably done on the first night is bring all the firewood upstairs so I didn't have to come down. <laughs> Anyone in here? No? Right. Am I hearing whistling this time? 
No, I'm not. Good. Good. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Who are you? You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. All right. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Uh, nice to meet you. So, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right messages reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, right. We rely on information about fire sightings. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. Is this the guy that stabbed me earlier? What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. Uh, I, I should get back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember... Remember what? Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Farewell. Farewell? That's got some finality to it. I don't like that. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes and he, he doesn't use the trail. He just walks back into the woods. Right. Yeah, okay. I am never leaving my tower again. <laughs> Unless it's to, to get out of here, right? And I, I guess I do get out of here. I'm telling the story in retrospect, right? Where's he gone? He's just disappeared. Fucking hell. Right. Close the door. Close it. Lock it. Forget about it. Okay. In that goes. That can go there. Okay. Right. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Burn the place to the ground. <laughs> just like that. Okay. Well, that could have been a nightmare. <laughs> Oh no, don't worry, it's me. It's me. You guy. You there? Okay. Alright, let's reply to him. Maybe I can talk about the encounter I just had. You copy now. Uh, this is Jack. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Oh. Where have you been? I went down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. I ran into the radio tower worker. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. What? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? No, what do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Right. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Huh. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then, who did I just talk to? Look. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Maybe, yeah, but possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. I bet it is. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Right. I'll be doing that as he's stabbing me to death, probably, but sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. Right. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Brilliant. Okay, um... Yeah. Night, Connor. Tower 12. Signing off. Over and out. Good night. Over and out. Shit. Okay. Let's, uh, let's sleep and hope we don't die during the night. Especially with all this gasoline everywhere. <laughs> My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. Yes, it fucking was! However, that would soon change. Really? Okay. 
Two nights later, what happened? Again, quite late, 9.18. Oh, look at that weather. Two guys. You got a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. All right. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Ah. No more snoopers, I guess. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, how do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Ah. There I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. <laughs> Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure I could. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Right, so let's try this. The console, yes. No. Uh, update? Oh, the, oh, what's the package code? Oh, check, right, hang on. Uh, check update. Okay, three updates found. Okay, so we needed the package code. 4346084 seems to be the package code, so... Like that? No? Okay, do we just need to do it like this and then... Okay, now we enter it. Okay. Looking for serviceable lines. Some are busy, some aren't. So let's see. No, 5987. No, 5487. Okay, that works. Oh! That works remarkably quickly as well, okay. Ah! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've been jumped so many times. Have we just lost power? Ah, oh, fuck, the power was out. Okay, right. Okay, we still got the fire. Hold on, hold on. Shit. Wow, it really is raining, isn't it? What was that guy's name? Silas or something? I don't know how I knew that, because I don't actually know if he told me that, but... There's the town, that's out of commission. There's still a light on, but... Shit. Right, we've got to go check the generator, haven't we? Okay. Oh, silly. I, I could have probably... I probably could have brought the can down, couldn't I? Is there one in here? I got drenched in the rain. I bet you did. Yeah, okay, there's one in here. There's one in here. Man, I do not like being out here. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this with me. I- Oh, you really had to pee before going back up, did you? Alright. No one out there? No? Okay, let's just pee. Could you maybe pee quieter? Okay. We're good? I think we're good. Okay. Fuck it. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving it down there. I don't want to linger around. Yeah, this is really riling me up, this one. One week later, though. Okay, we survived another week. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Okay. 2.34 a.m.? Oh, man. Got another one. Another one? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. All right. Jack? Jack? <laughs> I need you to wake up. I'm awake. You copy? I will in a sec. Give me some time. Right. No one's standing outside anymore. Let's hope not. I do. Right here. Why are you still up, though? But, but right here. Okay, I tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Right. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Oh. It appears to be in your sector. Do you see the campsite from your end? 
Um, not with these shutters down. Let me have a look. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> what is it this time? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. Brilliant. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. Okay. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Right. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Right, so. So it's all on me, is it? Whereabouts? Oh, okay. Well, at least I can see them this time. It's another camp. I thought he said west. Oh, it's west of him, I suppose, isn't it? East of me. Hold on, hold on. Uh, binoculars, there we go. Let's see what's going on. To be honest, I don't really want to leave my tower. Oh, God. What the fuck? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Jesus Christ. Take evidence of it? Oh, okay, we're going to take a photo. I guess I've always got my camera with me. Right, how's the zoom? Pretty good, actually. Jeez, are they bodies, or what is that? <gasps> Did they... Oh, God, I think they saw the flash. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're not coming over here, are they? Oh, fuck me. Ah, 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 Okay. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, right. We're gonna go in here. That's locked, yeah? Lights off. Uh... Connor? Nothing. Oh, shit. to make a run for it. Yeah, yeah. Is he around there somewhere? There he is. There he is. Fucking hell. Okay, right. Go, 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 go. Bloody hell. Oh, boy. I can't out... Hang on, hang on. Hide again, hide again, hide again. I've got to go now. I've got to go. Right? Okay. Are we running back to the trailhead? I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Maybe. Maybe. I think we just need to get out of here, don't we? Okay. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Is he inside? Ah, it's locked. There's no bell or anything. Right. The Oh shit, oh shit! Go, 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 go! Bloody hell! Run, run! Okay, that's that's my RV, that's my camper, I think. 
Oh crap! Open it up! Close the door! Close the door! Shit! Go! Go! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Alright. Thanks for that. And is that how it ends? I'm driving away in safety so I can tell that story? It seems like it. Okay, well there you go. That was Ironbark Lookout, the fourth episode of Fears to Fathom. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. I enjoyed that one. Is it my favourite? I don't know. I'll have to go away and think about it, but it's it's certainly up there. It was certainly a, a really nice experience, a really fun experience, uh, and a, a really creepy and scary experience at times. I really do like the, the use of the microphone, having to silence yourself as you're hiding. I think that's very good, especially for someone in my position, you know, streamers, YouTubers. You've really got to shut the fuck up if you want to live through that. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to why they didn't believe his story. He took a photo of it, though, right? Unless it was them in the hoods doing the burning. Yeah, I think there were a few characters that were, uh, that were in on it, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Fears to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello! <laughs> oh, he didn't honk back! Some of them come back with stories you wouldn't believe. Hmm. Well, at least some of them come back. Oh. Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you! Any seat I like, eh? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I'm just making a mess, really, as I wait for my food. Throwing salt. Oh, okay. Throwing salt into the void. Right, hold on. What the fuck, man? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Uh. There's, there's a guy out back, just wandering in the woods. Is that normal? The door. The door was wide open, okay. Wait. Oh. Anyone using the loo? Good. <laughs> Anyone else wandering in the woods? Maybe. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. I had better aim in the toilet, honestly. Yeah, I'm hearing whistling. Oh! I assisted 64 people, which is crazy, and it's reported by... Bill Clinton. Yeah. Something didn't look right. I'm not surprised. You're not going to put it in a bowl or a plate or something? You're... Right. I... <laughs> Are you just face planting this thing? I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the? I've got this. Jeez! Oh, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. It was probably when that guy rushed in and stabbed you to death. I see you behind the trees to my right. Oh, no, 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 that's not me. You're freaking me out. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Am I hearing whistling this time? No, I'm not. Good. Good. <laughs> what the fuck, man? The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. Yes, it fucking was! Jeez, are they bodies, or what is that? <gasps> Did they- Oh god, I think they saw the flash! 